Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. In our previous video we threw our 5 pallet RTX 3060 Ti LHR cards on Windows mining Ravencoin with T-Rex Miner and we looked at the difference between Samsung and Hynix memory what the difference was in power consumption, hash rate and efficiency. Today we're going to throw our cards onto HiveOS and see what the difference is between Windows and Hive OS. Does it give us better hash rates, lower power consumption, and what is the efficiency of the cards? Let's get into it. We ended our previous video on the overclocks and undervolts of all cards. As you can see that each card was getting about 27, close to 28 megahash per second. We were using plus 200 on the core, plus 750 on the memory. And then on the two Samsung cards, card 3 and card 4, we were using 75% power limit, which brought our power to 149 watts per card. That was the two Samsung cards. And then we used 85% power limit on the Hynex memory to bring up the hash rate, which was using 169 watts per card. So we're going to use the same overclocks on Linux or HiveOS and see what our power consumption was, what our hash rate was as well, and see what our efficiency was. Let's see if we can improve the hash rate and lower the power consumption for this mining rig. In this video, I won't cover how to set up Hive OS. Okay, we're using the same overclocks. So we're using 200 on the core, 750 on the memory, 100% on the fan. The first two Hynix cards, we're using 170 watts. And the last card was the other Hynix card, 170. And then the two 150s are the Samsung cards. Now if we look at the power consumption, we're using about 810 watts. We ended up on 800 watts on our Windows server. It is using about 10 watts more. On HiveOS, we can optimize these cards even further. The best overclocks that I found using these cards on HiveOS was a core we're using 1300 which gives you the absolute core clock the memory we pushed up to 1300 fan speed the power i will leave as is and see what we can actually get with these cards so we're on 110 watts My apologies, but I'm not in the same location to actually open the console. So we'll see when our settings have been applied. Currently we're using 810 watts. And we're getting 134 megahash per second with these five cards. Let's give it a second while this updates. While we wait for this to update, let's just go over the flight sheet and see what my settings are. The coin is Raven coin. We've set up our wallet. We're using two miner as the pool and we're using T-Rex miner as the mining software. No specific settings were inserted. The one card is a bit high, the other cards are fairly cool, but this could be the fan setup in my server as well. So I probably just need to make sure there's enough airflow over these cards. At the moment we're settling on about 803 watts, our hash rates are at 138 mega hash per second. And we seem to be doing okay. So let's take a look at the profitability of this rig. Mining at 138 megahash per second at 803 watts. 
Bitcoin is currently trading at $44,000. Ethereum is just under $3,200. And Ethereum Classic is at $54. So let's take a look at what we're mining with. We got 138.6 mega hash per second at 803 watts. We are using 20 cents USD per kilowatt. And Ravencoin comes out at $11.78 after electricity. We're earning about 138 coins per day. Just remember that 803 watts is only for the graphics cards. In our previous video, we, we looked at the power consumption of the total server. And we were looking at 940 watts. So let's take a look at 940 watts. That would be the total power consumption of the server. And we're looking at just over $11 per day. Now if we look a little bit further, 138.6 mega hash per second at 940 watts. Power consumption is at 20 cents USD per kilowatt. Let's calculate and see what we can achieve. So in a month, we can mine just over 4,000 coins per month. And just remember that there is a halvening that's coming in next year. At the moment, each block reward is at 5,000. It's going to drop to 2,500. So you probably want to mine as much coins as you can before that halvening. If we look at the profit, we're looking at about 338 USD in profit and that is after electricity i will be ending this video here hope you found this video informative and insightful please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos thank you for watching catch you on the next video ciao for now